It's morning in Kajiado County, Kenya, and here we have come to construct the seventh modern apiary for honeybees. What's that one? Today, we will use round poles for construction. We started laying this foundation by setting one corner and then, we are able to pull the diagonals. We have to use concrete to make our round poles stand firm. You may ask what are we spraying? This is a chemical to prevent our poles from underground termites. Remember when you need an apiary, please consider to look for an expert. It's hot here in Kajiado County, but we are determined to meet the target. The water trench is 0.9 meters away all around the structure. The water trench is constructed with the wire mesh and the HDP membrane. This is to make the trench last longer and hold water for longer time. Then aggregate concrete, mixed with sand, waterproof, and cement is put to cover the wire mesh. The reason why we put this water trench is to protect the bees in the apiary from the rodents and ants, and also bees can get closer water point from the trench for their daily consumption. On the roof, we have used the best iron sheets that can survive in the hot sunshine. The design also has considered the winds in this area. If you need the design plan that accommodates any number of hives, Please contact us on plus 254-7285-49727 and please consider to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Our apiary consists of ground floor and upper floor each with two levels. This is the stairs to upper level. On the upper floor we have used six by two timbers on the walking path and we have reinforced them from bottom with four by three timbers. Our house for bees is taking shape now. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. To make sure that no weeds grow in the apiary, we have done a rough floor. For maximum security for our bees, have put the chain link all round the walls of this apiary. Because we want to collect rain, water, we have installed the garters to take water to the storage tank. Before you we construct an apiary there are things we consider. One is the blow of winds, two is the north and south pole, three the land, four is the sunrise. Now our seventh apiary is up and ready to accommodate 200 hives in a small space. Now let's see how someone can carry the hives into and move inside the apiary.
This is the ground floor where each compartment is designed to carry three hives with two super boxes on top and makes work easier for the farmer to harvest without any difficulties in terms of space. Let's move to the upper floor using the first stairs. The angle of our stairs are standard that makes them comfortable to go up with the hive. Here at the upper floor, we have two levels, the upper level and the lower level. Remember if you need hives, just contact us on the number provided in the description. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our content. If you need an apiary design plan, please follow instructions given in the description. You can see how it's easier to add and remove the super boxes. After installing your hive, you move to exit downstairs. As I said earlier, the walking pathway has been reinforced from bottom with zigzag two by three timbers to make it strong. Now our apiary is firm and ready for the hives to be installed in the next two weeks. In our next episode, we will show you how we bring in hives and how the hives will colonize inside the apiary and outside the apiary. Thanks for watching and sharing our content. Please leave your comments below.